Brian was diagnosed four years ago, over four years ago with Alzheimer's. And we didn't, because of his job, we didn't say anything to anyone for quite a while. We kept it to ourselves, we worked through it. And then last year, it became public knowledge. And it was the best thing that happened to us because when you're dealing with it on your own, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. Brian was, you were fine. <laughs> he was grand because every, you know, I was minding him, but I needed that support. And so to be here today, to know that this, this center has opened, not just for the people with Alzheimer's, but for their supporters as well, is incredible. The best thing we did was when Brian did come out, and it was the program, Keys to My Life, that, that started it really, um, we contacted the, the Alzheimer's Society and um, they have been fantastic. We have had so much support, we've made friends with them, and um, we want to be here today because we want to let people know that it is not the end of the world. This man, I haven't stopped all summer. It has been the most wild summer, most wild year of my life. He says yes to everything. <laughs> I'm serious. And so we have, we have been things there, done things, everything. But he has done two plays this year. He's in Fair City. Yesterday he was doing a reading up in Swords Castle. Last week he was to do the voice of, a, of an animation film. Didn't happen, but it's going to happen in a couple of weeks time. So what I'm saying is there are ways around this. And I think people are now becoming more educated and learning that yes, somebody is diagnosed with dementia. That's not the end of the world. This man is an example. In Fair City, he's fed the lines through his ears. It creates some problems. And for the rest of us acting with him, we're all jealous because we have to go on our own lives. <laughs> so Alzheimer's has a good effect. <laughs> it has its positives. <laughs> but what I'm saying is we're delighted to be here today, aren't yeah, we? Absolutely, absolutely. And without this person here to my right, I wouldn't be here. She's a miracle. <laughs> best to look to everyone who comes through these doors and, and it isn't the end of the world I know at the very beginning I started to notice because as, as a younger lad uh, 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 as a member of the Abbey Theatre Company I was able to read a script that that, uh, that would be it I would know all the words and then later on and later on I noticed it was getting a little bit more difficult and a little, I had to read it again and again and again and, and it was kind of very scary, really scary. And now look around, you know, the number of people that we know who have been in that situation. So we're keeping all our fingers crossed for, for some kind of a, uh, uh, some kind of a, uh, I don't know, what? A cure. A, a cure. Eventually. Yeah, eventually. Exactly. And then, you know, in another five or ten years, we look back and we say, God, do you remember that? What was it called? Alamentia. Or what was it? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have it anymore. Don't have it. And you do have to remember, he's fantastic. But he won't remember this afternoon. This morning. <laughs> what morning? Exactly. <laughs> so just bear that in mind as well. Thank you. One, two, three. Yeah.